Hello, this is Danny Raymond, the voice behind Ray's Guide. And before I get too far into discussing the topic of this video, whether Orson could actually exist, I need to delve a little into my real-world background in order to establish my bona fides to talk about this. Simply put, I'm an architect, although working in other fields for many years. Yes, strangely enough, Morphologist is not the only architect making YouTube content about star season. But this is not going to be a design critique. Morphologist already does a wonderful job with those. But architects need to have two unique senses, both operating strongly, in order to do their profession. One is an aesthetic sense. Is it beautiful? Is it inspiring? Will people be drawn to it and enjoy being there? Really right brain stuff. The other is a functional sense. Can we actually build this? Can people live in it? Will it not fall down? All strong left brain stuff. And all of course in 3D. That is what makes being a good architect really challenging. Now, my observation is that architects who went to arts colleges are strongest on the aesthetic sense, and architects who went to engineering schools, like myself, are strong in the functional sense. But either way, architects are trained and experienced in thinking of both ways simultaneously. However, artists who went to art school are taught to intentionally ignore any functional sense under the premise that they don't want to limit their creativity. And then when they design buildings, um, often wind up with someone telling them that they would fall down. But getting back to the actual subject of this video, could Orison exist? But first, what do I mean by Orison? Two fundamental features exist about Orison in lore. One, it floats peacefully among the clouds in a layer of breathable air. And two, they build spaceships in weightlessness. Now, having either of these be true individually is easy. Having them both together in the same location, is impossible. So sorry, uh, but no, it can't exist. The in-game explanation for this is that Orison exists at some sort of planetary gravitational sweet spot, which sounds like what someone would say if they heard somebody talk about Lagrange points and completely misunderstood it. To start with, Lagrange points are not places where gravity is canceled out. It is a place where the interaction between two orbiting bodies happens in a way that the orbital period at that point is the same as the orbital period of the smaller body. Thus, the locations stay in the same position from each other as they orbit, but they do not cancel out to no gravity, and you can't just decide to put them where you think they are convenient. What would a celebrity astrophysicist say? The best explanation is that gravity exists because matter bends space-time towards itself, and the process draws matter towards itself. Einstein described it as matter shows space-time how to bend, and space-time shows matter how to move. So there are no gravitationally cancelled out locations without there being some huge mass to create a countering gravitational pull. And where is that mass countering the gravitational pull of Crusader? None of Crusader's moons are large enough or close enough. Is there some black hole nearby? What would our celebrity astrophysicist say about having a small black hole nearby? Oh no, you don't want to go there. But what if you wanted was just the floating cloud city and ignore the whole building starships and weightlessness thing? Oh, well that's easy. First, and most important, you find that breathable air layer on the upper atmosphere. That's the real special thing that in fact few gas giant planets would have. You can then just have those thrusters firing constantly, but a much safer design, and thus one that would be certainly used when so many lives are at stake, would be to build for neutral buoyancy, like a zeppelin. But neutral buoyancy is not null gravity. If you just cared about the build spaceships and weightlessness thing, then build them in orbit. Items in orbit are not at null gravity or any sort of sweet spot. They are just all falling together in an arc around the planet and thus behave weightlessly. We have huge, presumably air-filled hangars in space stations that can hold a whole ship. Just turn off the artificial gravity plates and boom! Air-filled, weightless ship construction bay! Now, could you orbit at a level that was inside the upper atmosphere of a gas giant and thus create an Orison-like location? That would seem to get both done, but no. Orbital speeds are much faster than even the fastest winds on a gas giant planet. That's why re-entry from orbit into an atmosphere is so fiery, as orbital speed is lost. So what would be the closest you could get to really creating an Orison? Well, first, as I said, find a gas planet with a breathable oxygen layer. Without that rarity, you haven't even started. Then design for neutral buoyancy. The Bespin Cloud City in Star Wars can be presumed to be a shell enclosing a large volume of lighter gas for buoyancy. 
Orson would also need a redesign to contain more volume containing the presumed buoyancy enclosures. Then, if needed for the gravity present in the breathable atmosphere layer, you would use positive gravity plates to create a comfortable living environment for people, and then negative gravity plates to create the weightless assembly locations. Doable, but not what Orison describes itself as being. So now the good news, the ship giveaway. As of recording, we are 80% of the subscriber goal and 30% of the watch hour goal to trigger the giveaway of your choice of either the RSI Scorpius Sub Heavy Fighter or the Gaytac Raelian Xeon Arm Transport. Hmm, decisions, decisions. To enter, be a subscriber and comment with the secret word. And the secret word for this video is the professional title that I share with one other Star Citizen YouTube content creator. Good luck. Fly safe, keep it real, and I'll see you in the verse. This is Danny Raymond for Ray's Guide.